Hey guys, Brock here. Um, on my last video, I did an open boxing of the Comlite uh, Canon 2 Nikon Z adapter, and it was requested that I show that adapter using uh, additional Canon lenses, uh, specifically some cheaper Canon lenses. So actually right now I'm recording this using that Comlite adapter with a Canon 50mm 1.8. I believe it retails for about 125. Again, it's a lens that I borrowed. Um, one thing that I do want to point out, I have it shooting at f1.8 just so that I can show that it actually does. Um, and I'm using full autofocus. Um, it is a loud lens and I guess, you know, it comes with the price range. But right now it is going back and forth, back and forth, trying to keep me in focus. Um, and it's making a lot of noise. You may even be able to hear it on the microphone. Uh, so I'm going to switch from f1.8 to f8. I just wanted to show that it does in fact um, try to keep me in focus. Um, if I move in a little bit, you can see it's trying to keep me in focus here. Um, so yeah, so the, the Comlite adapter is working great with this lens. It's just that the lens itself is really loud um, and it's kind of distracting. So I'm gonna switch to F8 and come right back. All right, so I'm back. I set the camera at F8. Uh, F1.8, I was searching a bit too much when I move in and out of focus. So hopefully at F8, it doesn't move too much because this is a loud lens, um, this 50 millimeter 1.8 from Canon. Um, I'm using this lens again, just to show that you can in fact use cheaper lenses on this adapter. It works great. Um, so coming up, I'm going to have some uh, examples of different lenses that I used with this adapter. Um, now with Nikon right now, I'm doing full autofocus. Unfortunately for video, the Nikon Z camera still don't have IAF but they do have IAF with stills. So I'm gonna have some footage of IAF tests using uh, still mode. And what I did was I actually just recorded basically the back of the screen so that you can see the box around the eye. Um, there are gonna be uh, basically two different run-throughs. Um, I'm gonna be walking away from and towards the camera um, either with the focus locked and, and you can see how it tracks my eye as I move away from and towards the camera as I go a little bit out of focus. And then um, there's also some footage where I use this guy. Uh, this is just a little clamp that you can get from a hardware store. And I clamped it to the camera so that the focus button is always being pressed. And that way you can see it actually trying to keep me in focus as I move towards and away from the camera. Um, it's kind of my pseudo uh, AFF. Uh, as that's not available uh, when shooting stills. But um, hopefully this helps get an idea. Um, the Comlite adapter itself seems to be working great. Um, the only quirks I run into are different quirks of different lenses. Um, so without further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and jump right into that. So that was weird. Um, I was reviewing the footage on the back of the camera and I saw what you saw. I have no idea what happened there. Um, I don't know if it was the adapter. I don't know if it was the lens. Uh, that is the first time I, s I have seen that happen. Um, yeah, I don't know what, what's going on. Um, everything was set to manual except for, uh, autofocus. So, um, my ISO didn't change. My f-stop didn't change. Um, nothing changed as far as my settings go, so um, either either the lens or the adapter went weird. Um, like I said, this is the first time I've seen that happen, so um, I don't know what that was, but I'm going to leave it in here. If you know what it was, let me know in the comments. Um, I figure it's better to show you guys that something weird did happen, um, especially since I don't know what it was. I can't explain it away. Um, but yeah, um, on that note, I'm going to move on to the other footage that I promised you with the IAF tests. So, um, yeah, hopefully nothing weird like that happens again. Hmm. Okay. So here we're going to have some examples of locked focus at 50 millimeter. So I focused in the center of the space and um, I'm just moving in and out of focus with my body to see how it tracks, uh, specifically looking for my eye. You can see that I have IAF turned on and that's what that little yellow box is. It's trying to track my eye. Um, so I did some turning, did some 
waving my hand in front of my face just to um, have it lose track and then see how quickly you can regain it. You really aren't seeing very much difference between um, the native Nikon Z 24-70, the Canon 24-70, and the Canon 50mm. Uh, not much difference here. Okay, so here I'm going to do some continuous focus. Um, again, I use that little hardware clamp to hold down the focus button. That way the lens will actually shift focus as it tracks me um, when I move my body forwards and backwards. Um, you can see again there isn't too much difference. Um, there is a slight difference in focus speed, uh, but that is, you know, the difference between lenses here. Uh, the adapter is working pretty well. Um, you know, the tracking is all done in body of the camera, so the adapter isn't affecting that very much. Uh, but the difference between lens is affecting how quickly it can find focus. Here again we have a locked focus test, this time at 70 millimeter. I only have the Canon 24-70 using the adapter. I've got the Nikon Z 24-70 for reference. Uh, they're both running at f8, uh, same setting, so that you can, you can compare um, the difference between the two. Uh, not much difference at all, uh, so yeah seems to be working just fine. Here we go again with continuous focus at 70 millimeter. Um, so I actually have these two lenses with s some different settings. Um, at the top you'll see they're both at f8 and then at the bottom I have the Nikon Z running at f4 which is the fastest you can set it to and the Canon 24-70 at f2.8. Um, I sort of realized after the fact that I should have shot them at the same f4 um, but unfortunately I returned that lens and so I don't have it right now so I can't uh, do that but even still at f2.8 uh, which would be a more difficult track you can see that it's uh, just as good as the Nikon is at f4, um, so the adapter is not affecting that at all. Okay, so here's a locked focus test at roughly 100 millimeters. So I'm using the Canon 100 millimeter 2.8 with the adapter, and for reference, I'm using the Nikon 105 millimeter with the F to Z adapter. Um, so you can see. Uh, not much difference between the two at a locked focus. Uh, coming up I do have the continuous focus test and um, I was told ahead of time when I borrowed the Canon 100mm that the lens is actually um, kind of busted so the autofocus doesn't work that well um, but I did try to do a test on it and so you'll see that coming up. So again at continuous, uh, sorry at um, locked focus, not much difference between the two as it's not trying to change focus and the targeting is done within the camera. So um, with that preface here comes the continuous focus. So I did do both the Canon and Nikon lenses um, at both f8 and f4. Uh, you can see the uh, focus works great on the Nikon lens, but it is jumping in and out and going crazy on the Canon lens. Now that is not due to the adapter. Um, the Canon 100mm lens that I used um, has some focus issues even when you connect it to a Canon camera. Um, but I did want to include this in here just so that you can reference it. All right, so I'm back to using the Nikon Z 24-70 f4. Uh, this guy is much quieter, uh, and my ideal lens uh, that I have on hand for shooting video, I've got it at 50 millimeter right now, and unlike the 50 millimeter Canon, uh, I don't hear it grinding gears or trying to keep me in focus at all. It's very quiet. In fact, I can't hear it at all. Uh, I'm just gonna assume it's got me in focus because I've got uh, full autofocus turned on. But anyway, um, back to the previous uh, clips. So those are all of the Canon lenses that I have access to right now. Um, I wish I had more to try 
with the adapter to show you guys uh, which ones work. Uh, again, you can get a full list of what lenses work with the adapter on the Comlight website. And uh, I haven't had any, any real issues with the adapter. Um, I had, unfortunately, some issues with uh, two of the three lenses that uh, I had to try with the adapter. Um, the uh, 100 millimeter clearly has focusing issues that I knew coming into it. The 50 millimeter, I still don't know what happened uh, in the intro when all of a sudden uh, I got blown out uh, my settings were still showing that they were exactly the same, that they had not changed. I basically had to turn the camera off and then back on uh, for it to uh, reset and then get the correct settings. So I'm going to blame that on the 50 millimeter because I haven't had any issues with the other lenses as far as that goes. So it could very well be the adapter. I'm willing to give the adapter the benefit of the doubt um, and maybe... Uh, I will check my sources when I'm borrowing these lenses. In fact, that 100 millimeter that I was having trouble with, the guy basically just said, hey, you can have that. I don't have any need for it because it won't autofocus even on a Canon uh, camera, so it doesn't do him any good. So I'm gonna hang on to it. With the adapter, it works great when I'm doing manual focus. And in fact, um, the autofocus is fine as long as I don't need it to continuously search. For the most part, when I press focus with autofocus it will lock on um, but sometimes it does have to search and so as long as it's not a high speed situation and I need it to um, follow focus or I need it to uh, jump focus back and forth it's fine um, so for the most part uh, manual focus so maybe it'll come in handy for shooting videos I'm not sure but I'm gonna hang on to it so that's all that I've got today Thanks for stopping by. If you like the video, hit the thumbs up. Um, I do plan on posting more videos in the near future, so if you'd like to see those, please subscribe uh, and hit that bell. Um, if there's a thing that you can hit on YouTube in order to uh, notify you when my videos come live, go ahead and hit all those things, and uh, I will try to get you some more stuff um, in the near future. So, yeah. Uh, if there's anything else that you guys want me to check out, let me know in the comments below. Uh, if there are additional Canon lenses you want me to try, you know, uh, send some my way. Wait, wait. Um, but other than that, thanks for stopping by. Thanks for watching the video. Thanks for sticking through this long. And uh, you have a good day. So I'll talk to you later. See ya. So I have zero idea why all of a sudden I just became white. <laughs>